gone to the driver's compartment. Proxy, let the residents know to be waiting at the platform. You, you, you plan to use the train to transport the residents? No way, absolutely not! If they get out, they'll talk to the press, and Vision and I will be done for! I don't care what it takes, just stop this thing at once! Warning, the planned route has been disconnected. Railroad damage from small explosives detected. Plan failed. What? Nicole, this isn't good! Something happened to the tracks! No way! They, they're at their Pearlman, sir! Don't worry, I've blown up the only railroad route leading to New Eridu. They can't get out! <gasps> no way! You... you fool! You were supposed to blow it up after we've evacuated! Look what you've done! The residents can't get out, but now neither can we! Nicole, this isn't good. Enemy reinforcements have surrounded us. What should we do? Oh, damn it! Take the pipsqueak. Let's pull back into the train first. Come in, Director Perlman. Unknown intruders attack near the train. We've suffered some losses. But rest assured, in terms of numbers and supplies, we maintain the advantage. The intruders retreated into the train. Please advise, should we begin an all-out assault? <laughs> Director Perlman, requesting orders. Don't, don't storm in! I'm inside! These bastards! I mean, the ladies and gentlemen from the Cunning Hands have me trapped in here! Stand down! Do you hear me? Stand down! If I'm harmed, the corporation will hold you all responsible! <laughs> this dude has his uses after all. They won't make any sudden moves, but unfortunately... We can't go anywhere either. Right. The tracks are gone. And even with the train, we can't get everyone out of the hollow now. Is it... Is it the end of the line? <laughs> hey! Now isn't the time to be laughing! No, I wasn't laughing at you. I happened to find it. During the fighting. My family heirloom! That's you with... Wait... That's Silver, from the Red Fang Gang. That's right. I lied to you. I'm not the Red Fang Gang's enemy, but one of the orphans who used to live near Canvas Street that they adopted. The Red Fang Gang used to have ideals. They all wanted to protect their home. But as you've heard, eventually things got bad, and I broke away from the gang. They haven't been back since. No matter how disappointed I was in the Red Fang Gang, Silver took me in. The Red Fang Gang was the closest I ever had to a family. After hearing you led Silver into the Hollow and killed him, I came into the Dead End Hollow looking for revenge. But you're not exactly what I expected. Not only did you save the kid, you even stayed. Without a single complaint, after hearing a Vision's plan. And now that I know Silver's death wasn't your fault, I have no reason to want revenge! The Red Fang Gang betrayed their promise and abandoned the people they were supposed to protect. As a former member of the gang, I can't let that happen again. I've made up my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go negotiate with Vision. Don't worry. With Pearlman as a bargaining chip, plus my identity as a member of the Red Fang Gang, things will work out. Uh, Miss Bryant! Nekomana! Hey, come back! What's going on here? How did Director Pearlman get tied up by a little girl? I don't know, but she got hold of Commander Pearlman and the troops defending the blast area had to listen to her demands and pull out. She says she wants to see the person in charge here, so Miss Sarah has stepped in to negotiate. You're the person in charge? My request is simple. I'll return him to you as soon as Vision stops the demolition and gets the residents out. Easy for you to say. If we do as you say and it turns into a scandal, how are we supposed to explain things to the public? 
And who are you exactly? You aren't worried about negotiating with us on your own? Oops, forgot to introduce myself. I'm Nekomiyomana, but you can call me Nekomara. I won't lie, I'm actually from the Red Fang Gang. The, the Red Fang Gang? That's right, I said I would negotiate. So I brought the proper bargaining chips. The remnant of the Red Fang Gang and a subordinate of the late Miguel Silver, who took residents of the old capital as hostages and violently obstructed construction. The bandit leader, Neko Miyamana, captured by the Vision Corporation. How's that? Sound good to you? You mean to sacrifice yourself? How noble. Noble? <laughs> I'm just a stray animal who's lost her home. I don't belong anywhere anymore, so it would seem fitting. How about it? As long as you contact the media now... ...and tell the public. <laughs> Don't worry, he's not dead. The syringe contains an experimental anesthetic. Let me give you some advice. Verify the value of your bargaining chip before you bring it to the table. Unfortunately, Mr. Pearlman is not as useful to us as you might think. <sighs> we have to hurry. Split into two groups and carry out the original plan. We're going to stall the dead-end butcher, right? Yeah. Lure it to the target location. Leave the explosives train to us. Got it. We'll get going then. Okay, let's get the train moving. We've got control of the train. I hope things go well for Nicole and the others. So empty out here. Are we sure that big guy's really around? Not sure about the big guy. Plenty of little guys, though. It must be hiding somewhere. Huh? The beasties are running away. Almost here. The monster? The theme song. What? The bad guy's theme always plays before the final battle. <laughs> Don't worry, Andy. I've mastered all the rules for a surefire win from the Starlight Knights! Gotta break the rules when fighting bad guys. Take them out in less than 10 seconds with a flying kick! They won't even have time to play their theme song! Behind you. My predictions were out predicted! You big dummy! The only thing they'd be playing for you are the credits! Don't tell me this guy's a fan of the Starlight Knights too! Yeah. 
getting fatigued. That's enough chit chat. It's time to get down to business. What's that in your hand? This little thing? Huh. The detonation switch for the ether explosives, of course. Wait! No! I deeply regret the loss of any non existent residents in the blast zone. Everything we do is for our vision. Goodbye. Miss Sarah, reports show a successful blast. Good. Wait! Look! That tunnel leading out of the hollow! Someone's coming out! The Vision Corporation is a disgrace! Down with the Vision Corporation! Vision has the blood of innocent civilians on its hands! You can't silence us this time! <gasps> and everyone! Oh, so you were able to get out of the blast zone? I'm impressed. Do you really think you can expose us? Don't forget, everyone here belongs to us. On my order, open fire. What? How could she? She's serious! What's that sound? This just 
just in. A shocking scandal is developing around the Vision Corporation. After receiving a tip-off, our reporter followed the public security and has now arrived at the site of the Demolition Command Center located near the entrance to the Dead at Hollow. Public security forces are currently cordoning off the scene and have subdued a number of unidentified individuals posing as law enforcement. Calling Director Sarah! Calling Director Sarah! We're surrounded by public security! Hmm... Not just public security, Bellabog Industries is here too! They brought the media! We've lost control of the area! <laughs> I knew Vision wouldn't give up easily, so I contacted Bellabog as we got out of the hollow. As expected of a competitor, they got here real fast. Director Sarah, what should we do? Director Sarah, where are you? Reporting. All suspects have surrendered. No casualties among the residents. <sighs> the public security says we're safe. I heard they'll get our details soon, and we'll be taken to the station to give statements. <sighs> What are you doing? I was going to ask what you're doing, sneaking around alone. Didn't you hear the announcement, requesting everyone to the station to make a statement? I... Uh, everything has been dealt with, so I'm not needed anymore. No way. You are an important witness who can prove Vision is guilty. And then, there's the cunning Harris. I'm the one who tried to get you killed, right? You've still gotta pay your share. Huh? <laughs> My share? What share? Your share for dinner, of course. Didn't we say, once we are done with the commission, we'll go out for dinner? You said you didn't want to go to the Starlight Night restaurant, so Billy won't pay for us. And Nicole says she wants a decent meal, so we'll have to split the bill. Wait a second! You guys said you'd treat me for being a generous client! Why do I have to pay all of a sudden? And did anyone ask me my opinion? I never said I'd go! Then consider this a formal invitation. Would you like to come to dinner with us? The proxy siblings are coming too! And it's all you can eat! That's right! All the mackerel you can get your paws on! Why? Why? Uh... Unlimited mackerel! 